I thought it was pretty cool how I've gotten over six requests as to how to use Machine Studio inside of Studio One Three. I love using both these softwares together. I think they are pretty awesome. All right. I did a video like this inside of Logic Pro X, and now I'm going to show you guys how to do this inside of Studio One. I may have showed you guys this before. All right. In another video, I was probably talking about mixing or producing something for a commercial and went through that process but this video right here is specific towards the people who want to know how to do this inside of studio one and three all right so if you understand the art behind using a plugin inside your doll you definitely understand how to do this all right it's not that complicated it is more simpler than what you think all you have to do is go to your instrument section and you can either type it in what you're looking for or you can just drag over I'm gonna drag over the plugin I rather do it this way because I just think it's cooler to do it like this and BAM you see the plugin and I can really stop the video right here because I just showed you how to use or well, I didn't show you how to use but I showed you how to to get a track going with, with, with machine studio alright so as you can see my machine studio device here definitely correspond with the plugin we just brought in all right now let me show you something all right this is <laughs> all of the features you can use on your machine is accessible but there are about maybe i say three buttons that probably don't work your arrange your browse your your mix your sampling all of that works all right the only thing you cannot access is your your play and your stop, your start player, restart, and you can't access your events. Your, your events is the button you press when you're trying to edit notes in, in your screen. You can see them in, in either screen when editing the uh, the notes. You can you can uh, nudge them up and down or back and forth. You know that 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 type of thing. Uh, now I'm noticing you can't use Metro. So this probably this here this top doesn't work you can you can definitely activate your grid to change the resolution you can do that and all of the other buttons works all right and all of these features works obviously you know your, your copy your note repeat your paste now someone asked me what was the difference between this machine and their machine they have the micro or, or or the mk1 or mk2 nothing is really different they all are essentially the same thing it's just they you know a little bit different slightly different you know i actually personally like the mk1 better because of the knobs it was a knob dedicated for the volume then there was another knob dedicated for my for my tempo which i thought was pretty dope but when they came out with the mk2 they got rid of the time knob and just made it this i think this size knob right here now the machine studio is actually dope to me because everything is expanded all right so this is actually bigger and some people feel intimidated sometimes, but this is actually the same unit. All they did was move the copy, the undo, redo, and all that type of stuff over here into a section called edit. Before, all of these things used to live up on the your pads, all right, your 16 pads. And the way to activate those was by hitting shift. You hit shift in the pad or whatever, the, you know, the corresponding function was. It might be undo, it might be redo, quantize, whatever. That was really the only thing, but um, this one this one is expanded. You can definitely see your your inputs if you have anything coming in. Your inputs here, um, you got your master button here. You got your group. You got your your, your sound. Each sound, um, you can turn on up and down with your knob and your cue where, where you can hear your your metrodome and also um, the things that you're playing through your your browse. All right, so that's pretty much how how that goes, and you know. The difference, the the difference between can't say the word right. The difference between all of those devices, okay? So basically, um, I'm pretty much done, you know. But let's go further, you know. Some of you guys, okay, this is a MIDI device. How how do I activate the? Okay, let's add in the sound. All right, let's let's just add in the sound. Can't hear that. Let's what's going on? Let's add in another sound. Oh, what's up here? Let's add in another sound here. All right, 
you know. So I'm not gonna load up all 16 pads, but we just kind of go from there, right? Say for instance, you build a track, all right? Now in front of you, this is what I was gonna show you. If you hit start or your space bar inside of Studio One Three, you notice that your locator is gonna hit five. Now bar six. Now bar seven, eight, and so forth is gonna just you know kind of go along and just wherever until you hit the space bar again, right? Inside the plugin here, you notice that the locator is going back to one, and that's about one bar. All right, it's going back and forth, boom, boom, boom. It's not you know why isn't doing this? Well, that's because you need to understand the workflow behind working inside of machine. All right, you have to understand the workflow. Machine Studio consists of scenes and patterns. And I will explain that further in my new course that I am developing currently right now that you guys need to go get if you want to understand how to, to work machine, all right? I will blog about this this new course once I'm done with it. So if you want to make sure you go to my website at www.ksound.com, K-S-O-U-N-D-D. Subscribe to my blog, put your email in, follow constantly go to the website and, and check to see when it's available i may do a video uh about it saying you know letting you guys know that it's out however you know i have a lot of you guys asking me questions about this and i am finally going to put something together for you showing you how to work this from the moment you turn on the device to the part where you export it and show a client or send to whatever Show your friends or whatever. Upload to SoundCloud, however you want to do it. All right. So basically, um, the way this works is you have to go to pattern and and obviously activate a pattern here. And we aren't seeing one. Okay. So scene one is assigned to pattern one, or vice versa. Pattern one is assigned to scene one at the moment. And I could definitely make my length two bars. And if I come up here. I can make it two bars up here. Let's activate my loop. And now when I play, you see that this is two bars long and this is two bars long. But the thing with that is, if I move this here and say I wanna work inside the third bar, let's get that and go to the, you know, the next, and you want this to be something different right here when you hit play, you're only gonna play pattern one. You have to go to a new scene or double or duplicate this pattern. Again, I'm gonna show you guys what all that means if you don't understand what I just said. That's the reason why you want to understand the workflow behind Machine Studio when doing stuff like this because there are two different workflows, all right? So um, that that's really pretty much how you do that, all right? So I have a few sounds. All right, but some people want to know how to use Machine Studio as a MIDI device, triggering those things inside of your DAW, and that's really that's easy too. So uh, for this demonstration, let's bring in Impact for for instance. So Impact is a whole new plugin, totally different. All right, so say I, I'm a load a kit here. All right, and I hit the pads over here. Why nothing is happening? Because machine is in the machine mode where it only triggers. Okay, let me show you this. I am selected on the impact, right? And it's still only triggering the sounds inside the machine. As you can see, the meter here jumping. All right. Now, the only way you can trigger this using your machine is if you was to hit shift MIDI. If you hit shift MIDI, you go into MIDI mode, all right? And, and this is on each device. You, there is a shift MIDI on the MK1, MK2, the micro, all right? It doesn't matter which version you have. You can do this. You can. That's, that's the beauty of using machine, the machine product here, this, this, this machine here. That's the beauty of using this because you can use it as a standalone device, but if you need to use it as a MIDI device, you can definitely switch. All right, just like I did. 
Now, the funny thing about this is I have to be in bank C in order to trigger those pads inside of impact right here. So my, you know, it's kind of funny because my pad one on my machine is my pad two on impact. That's the only thing. But I learned to deal with it. I digress. It's all good. So that's the that's really the gist of how to use Machine Studio or Machine, whichever version you have, inside of Studio One Three. I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask your questions in the box below in this video, the the comment section, or you can visit the website ksound.com and ask me questions there. Um, you can link with me on any of my social medias and and ask me questions there it really doesn't matter i am a very nice guy i promise you <laughs> if i see your questions i will try to answer your questions again i i have a video i have a course coming out dedicated towards machine users i will show you how to work this thing in and out as a standalone device and as well as a, uh, a plug-in inside your doll all right and this will cater towards anybody any doll i will most likely be using studio one as my main dog but the concept is the same all right i want you guys to remember that so that's all i want to show you right now i'm ellip remember music is art you're the artist paint your picture